Hey guys, Todd from Juno Bait here with Dylan from GT Ice Cream. Hey guys. So we are, I'm kind of excited about this because we haven't like rehearsed this or talked That's about true. this at all, but true. we just had this idea while we we're sitting here. We're going to talk a little bit about um, select and lure colors, yeah. namely in the GT Ice Cream. Obviously this will carry over into some other yeah. stuff as well. And I've done some um, lure color videos and written about, talked about lure color in the past. Okay. And you know, there's a, depending on the situation and different things, my big thing with lure color is typically, it almost sounds a little bit like an oxymoron, is I want to stand out and blend in at the same time. Mm. So in a clear water situation, I want a clear kind of lure yeah. with a little contrast. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, I throw some variables in. Almost anywhere I go, in any water condition, I'm never afraid to throw a white lure. Absolutely. Uh, especially in soft plastics. I just did a video about that. Um, okay. And just how a, a three and a half inch, four and a half inch yeah. soft plastic white paddle tail would be okay. my go-to for yeah. everything, anywhere, That's right. ever. If I had to pick one lure, I'd want that. But um, so the GT comes in a wide variety of colors. Um, full disclosure, um, before we get your opinion, kind yeah. of your take, white and the chrome have been by far our best sellers. Mm -hmm. Um, without a doubt, yeah. Uh, but I'm just kind of interested to see Good here answer. what you have to say as far as <laughs> color choices go. It's always a the, always a thing, especially coming from the bass background. Bass guys are big into oh, yeah. colors, yeah. And you you wonder like, how's a bass eater chartreuse color? But th they will, you know. There's no use <laughs> if it ain't chartreuse. Yeah. I know that's an old saying. <laughs> but but the whites is typically that's why these guys originally made in white. You know, when they originally painted them as a broomstick, but. Being a top water, if you're underwater and you got snorkel and you're looking up, um, what are you seeing? You're seeing the belly of the fish, right? You look at any of our bait, belly, you know, of, the, of our bait fish in South Florida, common denominator, all white bellied, right? So that's why whites are really, really popular. Saying that, you uh, you're a, you're a fisherman, colors attract you, right? You go to go to your shelf at, at Juno at, at the tackle shop, and you're looking around. Colors are going to be attracted to guys, right? So it's going to it. Uh, my opinion is it's going to appeal to the customer first, whatever right. your preference is. I'm super confident in chartreuse. Todd may not be, being a, you know, a, a, a snook guy for instance. I know snook do eat chartreuse. But a lot of guys, it depends on your preference. And let's talk about why, why we have all these colors. And, I, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, the old redhead, for instance, very, very popular. I believe Rapala was probably one of the first to yeah. come out with that. You look at it, it's like, why? How does that work? Whether it imitates bleeding out of a bait fish, it just catches fish. Okay, in general, true. in general, it catches fish. And you know, when we switched over from from the original plastic and we we went to the injection molded, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but you can see there's a it's called pearl white, and that's the reason why it's got that pearl shine in it. So it's a little bit more attractive than say the the handheld. Saying that, it's still white, right? So for those guys looking for colors, and and let's talk about that. Bluefish, okay, you got you got the silver chrome. They're gonna see this a mile away. Bluefish love, you know, the old jigs and and the and the casting spoons that are that are all silver. And silver catches fish, and that's why it's you know one of his bigger popular most colors. And uh, then when you, there. and then not sorry to cut you off. Yeah. When you get a little more sunlight on silver, you get Correct. the flash to it on and a it's sunny just, day. Yeah, it's absolutely, real it sells good. real real good. And uh, then for us in, in in your darker water conditions, maybe in the brackish water. Um, so if I'm in the Indian River looking for the big jacks that are that are resident, I'll go to my fluoro colors. You know, like your pinks, uh, your fluoro yellows. We have an orange as well, and the jacks do love them. They will eat them. Um, and then it's interesting. This this green, it's it's called shad green. Uh, shad in South Africa, where we're from, is actually a bluefish, and they love this color. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if your guys can can tackle. Uh, we'll catch some blues on on this color, but it works works really well. And yellowfin tuna have a thing for this. Really, for whatever reason, they love this. They love this green. It's a little bit translucent, so a little, a little bit. You know, that bait fish like a like a glass minnow, for instance, they can they can see it. And in various situations, uh, we've actually found being offshore with Benita and a mackerel mackerel bite a few years ago. We were off Sebastian Inlet. We were throwing the whites. We we found a big school of Benita. There was um, just bait fish getting eaten little glass minnows and they had a little green shine so we couldn't figure out couldn't get a bite right so we mashed the hatch went down to the smaller bay throwing the red and white couldn't get a bite so finally what we did was that we switched to a more natural color like this this color is a squid you can see same thing it's a little bit translucent um, and when we saw the bait fish is what triggered it they were see-through 
So it was a see-through glass mirror. Right. We put this color in a three-quarter ounce and we came in, we smashed them because of that exact reason. This one as well, the glow, these two, they just excel. Also a little bit translucent. And this one actually has a, a beautiful glow in the sunlight. You charge it in the sun or your flashlight. Works really, really well in local, low light conditions. So if I'm fishing first light, I'm moisturizing this before any other plug because it's popping, it's glowing. This overcast, if it's late afternoon, tuna, inshore, offshore, this is your color. So that's sort of why we have those colors. Initially to catch a fisherman's eye. Yeah, absolutely. Attractive yep. on the shelf. Yeah. But it does actually serve a purpose when you actually look at the nitty gritty. So my suggestion is have, have a variance of colors, guys. And you actually find if they're not catch, you're not catching any fish on the white or your redheads, um, or even your, your fluoric co colors, switch to something that's a little bit more see-through, the translucent, like the glow or, or the squid. And we do make the clear color as well. So those are actually excel and, and trigger a bite for some reason, you can continue catching fish. Yeah, I could definitely see, especially in a calm, clear condition, yeah. where that clear, yeah. it's just so natural, you know, it's hard to beat. It does, it does. The black? Yeah. Um, what's your thought on that? Um, you know why we made this, Todd, was for Hawaii. Okay. So the guys in Hawaii were like, hey man, we, we catch a GTs, or they call them Alua over there. But they love black. I'm like, come on, man. Black? Are you serious? And we actually did it. So we, we made this black. It's called a black glitter. Black glitter with a silver flake in it. Um, and it, it works. It catches these GTs. These GTs eat these uh, bait fish that actually are, some of them are, are black. I was, we were actually just talking about Hawaii. Oh, you were? When you, well, me and oh, you, me when you we were talking that, yeah. about going. And randomly, one of the first times I jumped in the water when I was oh, that's right. there, you get in the Pacific and, you know, coming from South Florida, it's like, wait, where am I? You know, <laughs> and there are a lot of like random yeah. kind of tropical fish, reef yeah. fish and you see a lot of blacks and purple. So it's funny that you say that because yeah. I'm thinking back to that. Yeah. And I could see where that would totally make Absolutely. sense. I could also see for us in our market, it being a very good lure if you wanted to try and throw top water like at the end of the day right as the sun was coming up in that silhouette. dark yeah for the silhouette ah, so. makes sense yeah so the hawaii guys love it and also the striper guys the, the striper guys up up the northeast of the u.s will actually go to a black in the late evening or even at night time yeah so it yeah black's an interesting color very very interesting color and the chrome also it comes in the chrome gold it, it does it looks a bit like a bit like a <laughs> like a rap video if you will like a like a funky watch or whatever but this thing catches fish man yeah same thing like the like the chrome silver it throw, throws a good light especially when it's sunny and the blues will just chew it up and they um, will chew it up and the great thing yeah. about that is when they do start to chew it up you've got a white base underneath you've and got it just a white continues base. to exactly. keep catching fish <laughs> exactly and they'll last a long long time that's the beauty of these days they are hard yeah. to break so they'll last a good while Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks, okay, Dylan. So thanks, man.